Good morning, Mr. Bob from Bob's Pet Stop. Welcome back for another lesson. Today, a dear old friend of mine that I've known since I was a child is bringing her two dogs over, and we're going to take the dogs for a hike. She needs to exercise the dogs, and I'm going to use the long leash as today's demonstration. It is a beautiful morning. Good to see you. Look at you Give me a camera official. hug. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love All it. Official. Oh, there they are, my buddies. Oh, I love you, buddies. Oh my gosh. All right, so before you get started, I know you love the leashes that I've designed and made for you, but I'm going to show you my new leashes. We're going to be using them today. So okay. hold one second, let me grab them. Okay, so here are the new leashes. And now these leashes are really nice because they have a flexible band built in the wrist strap and they have handles and you can see the material is super comfortable. So we're going to give you a, a, a try today and see what you think about them as well as the long leash. Oh, nice. Okay, so we are just about ready to get going today for our little hike and I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I got my backpack together, we got the water, we got the poop bag, I got the 30 foot leash, the 60 foot leash, and of course, we're ready to go. So, I'm going to drop the leash here, and step on it, just so I have some control, I'm to get my backpack out, go through the procedure. I'm going to start with 30 foot training leash today because if we're going out, better to have more leash than less leash. 60 foot, excuse me, training leash. Rather have a longer leash than a short leash. And uh, make sure there's no tangles or knots in the leash. You never want knots, especially if you're holding the leash in your hand and your dog takes off. Remember, all my leashes have flex bands built in. So if the dog were to take off, there's going to be some safety built into the leash. All right, now of course I'm going to be just dragging the leash behind me. Um, I'm not going to be holding the whole leash, and neither should you. When you take your dogs out for a walk, you just want them to drag and have fun. All right, so done. Leash attached to the collar. Then we take the other leash off. I step on the long leash. I'm going to put this in my knapsack. Got to be prepared. <laughs> and it looks like we're good to go. It's a gorgeous summer day. I think it's probably 70 degrees out here, so it's not hot. Oh boy, here comes the car. Good morning. All right, so let's do it. So we're just gonna walk across, and we're gonna take it easy because obviously coming to the farm means there's lots of holes and ditches, and you know, so we wanna just take our good old time. And of course, look at you, you're doing good. Oh, let's see. Now, of course, we have really well-behaved dogs here. Of course, if your dogs are wild, folks, take it nice and easy. All right, no rush. So I'm holding the handle right here, and I got the dog. Of course, Karen has her dog. So far, what do you think of the leashes, Karen? I love it. I love the feel. They're, they're not hard on your hands, but they're, and they're not so little that you're... Uh, you Hold yeah, they're perfect. Thank you. Yeah, it took me a long time to try to figure it out. And of course, we're going to take a look behind us. As you can see, there's the long leash dragon behind. And of course, Dawn is uh, doing a great job. By the way, why don't you introduce your dogs? Bob has Dawn, a Labrador, and she is six years old, June 1. She's eating something delicious. Mm, dogs scavenging. Come on, Don. Let's not do that. This is Palo. He's four and a half. His birthday is in October. And he's a curly coated retriever. Nice. You see too many of them. They're frisky. They're, he's a gentle giant. Yeah, he is a gentle giant. Fantastic. All right, let's take him for an exercise walk. All right, let's go, guys. Okay, so I've switched over to Palo, and uh, wow, he's a strong dog, guys, so I'm holding the loop here, and of course, they're out there having fun, and he's just ready to take off, so I'm going to make sure I have some good footing, and then, oh, look at you, running around, having fun, 
room. So I'm gonna let him go a little bit. My suggestion, do your best to avoid the leash like it's a hot cake. Yeah, you guys are having fun. You are having fun. Oh yeah, you're having fun. So in this case, we can use one dog who's not much of a runner to another dog that might be more of a runner. But I think we're pretty much good to go and they're having fun. All right, come on, buddies. Let's go, buddies. All right, so here we are. We're just letting these guys run. How fantastic. And uh, the orange lease is easy to see against the green. And um, if I need to step on it, I've dropped it at this point. Got the camera in my hand. If I need to stop Palo, Palo. There we go, and gives it a little flex and stops him. Good boy. Not too far. Fantastic. Okay, guys, we are going to give the dogs a recall so you can actually see what this looks like. Come! Oh, yeah. That's so good! Yay! Everybody! Oh I've switched Palo to a 30 foot leash. He's just so responsive. And again, if your dogs are not quite ready for that at some point, this is what it looks like. This is kind of the, the goal. Now, you'll see as Dawn's running, she's kind of tripping on the leash because the darn hay is so tall. But we've been finding the whole time that they're not getting tangled and they're jumping through it, jumping out of it. Just, we don't want it wrapped around you. We don't want anybody to get hurt. A little common sense goes a long way. I have it leash attached to the flat collars. So they're not gonna break. Some trainers like to use harnesses. If you have the right type, I'm fine with that as well. Now, if I were taking a beginner out for a walk, we'd be doing little baby steps. I'd have the leash in my hand and make sure that we're not getting tangled up and tripped around and all that. Done! Stop chewing on all that stuff, kiddo. All right, so now we're coming to mock, let's hold her close. So you grab that little, that little handle that's close. Good, what are you doing? All right, so we can give you a little bit more space. All right, so now I'm holding the flex handle far. Give the dog some space, but we're using flat collars, and sometimes every dog will pull you pretty good and hard. I think what we're going to probably do is just walk down the driveway and make it easy, right? Yeah, yeah we got some pigs back there and horses. of course. I think the one's like, hmm, not scary. And of course here's Balo here. He hears the pigs, he hears the cows, and he sees mommy with the horse. Curious. Oh boy. So in this exercise, is every time the dog starts to walk away, I immediately just step on the leash payload, and that stops the dog. Uh, of course, you want to make sure that you don't have any leash wrapped around legs or bellies. That's something you need to avoid. I talk about that a lot in my disclaimers. Payla. Good boy. And he was a good boy. Well, I hope you all enjoyed what we had together, myself, Palo, Dawn, and Karen. Feel free to give me a shout at bobspetstop.com if you have any questions about purchasing a long leash or learning how to use it correctly. I have a lot more long leash training videos. Of course, you can check out a few of them on my YouTube channel. And until next time, enjoy your day. And thanks again.